Now you know we couldn't attend RSA 2017 and not talk about Russian hacking. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV and we are here at RSA 2017 in San Francisco. Now as you can imagine, we couldn't get very far at this show without discussing Russian hacking, especially in the wake of the recent presidential election. So we were able to sit in on a very interesting panel discussion called Congressional Oversight in the Wake of Russian Hacking. And we were able to catch up with Michael Bahar for a little bit of a further discussion about it. I'm gonna go ahead and read you his title because it's very long. He is the Minority Staff Director and General Counsel House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. So I hope you enjoy this little chat with Michael Bahar. So Michael, we just attended your panel on congressional oversight and Russian hacking, and we'd love to talk to you a little bit more about it. What are some of the cybersecurity priorities for this session of Congress? Sure, thanks so much for uh, speaking with me. I think one of the really important things is getting to the bottom of the Russian interference in our recent elections to make sure we understand how they did it, why they did it, and how we can make sure it doesn't happen again. So that's going to certainly be priority number one. Uh, and also we're going to make sure that the measures that we have passed in the past, for example, the Cybersecurity Act of 2015, we want to make sure, is that working? How is that working? Is there ways for us to improve it? And number three is upcoming, we have the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, Section 702 reauthorization which may sound very technical and wonky, but really this is akin to that 215 metadata reauthorization that we did a couple of years ago, but this is part two of that because it deals with actual content. So that's going to be really important this year as well and sure to stir quite a debate. Excellent. It sounds like there's some good stuff coming up. And you also talked about defense and deterrence. How important is that moving forward? Defense and deterrence is critical because at the end of the day, it's everybody's always focused on what can we do offensively in cyber or how can we raise the costs for people who want to do bad things against the United States but one of the things that we have the most control over is our own defense how do we secure our own systems both the government systems as well as our private sector systems so that these attacks aren't successful that's going to be critical moving forward Excellent. It sounds like a good game plan. We enjoyed your talk and we appreciate you talking with us. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to Secure Ninja TV if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the great content that we're filming out here at RSA 2017 in San Francisco and all of the other content that we filmed at trade shows around the world covering cybersecurity. Also, leave us a comment below and let us know your thoughts on Russian hackers. Have they been a threat? Will they be a threat in the future? We'd love to hear from you. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.